What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, que familia, comunes, and all over the world. I welcome you to Mathali Live at Home School Edition. How's everyone doing? And I hope um, you guys are okay. Pero ngayon, eh, tulad ng panahon, mag-iiba rin yung ating lessons. And um, we're gonna make it uh, more exciting for you. Today, we are gonna be doing something different. Magiging detectives tayo. Yes. We are gonna be investigating. Yan ang kailangan natin gawin. So please, get your thinking hats ready as we solve for the unknown. I welcome you to the Math the Lee Detectives Agency, MDA, and I am Detective Robbie at your service. Tamang tama yan. Okay? At tamang tama rin yung pagdating nating lahat kasi nagahanap kami ng junior detectives para tumulong sa pag-iimbestiga sa mga nawawalang bahagi ng equations. May nawawala ba? Abay! Hanapin na yan! Okay. Pero bago tayo magsimula, mag-review muna tayo. <laughs> okay? Ang equation ay isang mathematical sentence na may equal sign. Equation. My equal sign. You get it? Yup. Ang pagkakaroon ng equal sign ay nangangahulugan na ang expression sa left side nito ay equivalent sa expression sa right side. Kung ano, yung nasa kaliwa, equivalent yan dun sa kanan. Halimbawa, x plus 10 equals 15 ay isang equation. Pero, x plus 10 ay hindi equation. Okay? Hindi pa equation yan. Isa pa. Uh, uh, ang 2p plus 4 equals 12 ay isang yes, equation. Eh yung y minus 3 equation ba yan o hindi? Correct. Hindi to equation. Dahil walang equal sign kaya hindi siya equation. ba? Pag Paano magiging equation kapag may equal sign? Gets. Madali lang, di ba? O dapat lagi tayong on the lookout para sa equal sign tuwing naghahanap ng equation. Okay, ngayong alam na natin kung ano ang isang equation, ituturo naman na <laughs> ituturo. Ituturo natin kung paano mahanap ang unknown o nawawalang bahagi nito. Madalas eh nirerepresent nito ng x. Pero pwede rin naman gumamit ng ibang letra ng mga halimbawa natin kanina. Katulad ng P, di ba? Maraming iba't ibang diskarte sa pag-solve ng unknown. Pero ang ituturo ko ay ang pag-solve gamit ang properties of equality. At bilang nagsisimula pa lamang tayo sa inyong detective training, mag-focus muna tayo sa isang property. Ito ay ang addition and subtraction property of equality. At ayon dito... Basahin ko lang yung file natin, no? For real numbers, A, B, and C, if A is equal to B, then a plus C is equal to B plus C. It's not A, it's A. Then A plus C is equal to B plus C. Get it? Ganun din sa subtraction counterpart nito. Kung A ay equal sa B, Ibig sabihin, A minus C ay pareho lamang sa B minus C dahil equal ang value ng A at B. Pareho lang ang makuha kapag ikaw ay nag-add o nag-subtract ng same value sa magkabilang side ng equation. Kaya naman, when we are solving equations, we really make sure na kung anuman ang value na i-add o isusubtract natin sa isang side, ay gagawin din natin sa kabilang side to maintain the balance of the equation. Okay, subukan nga natin gamitin ang property na to. Let's solve for the unknown. Ito na. X plus 3 is equal to or equals 18. Ayon dito, kapag ang X na isang unknown number ay in mo sa 3, ang makuha mo ay 18. Ah, ano nga ba ang kailangan natin gawin para dito? Since we need to solve for x, eh, kailangan natin itong i-isolate. Oh, isolate. 
narinig natin yan ngayong pandemic. Anong ginagawa pag nag isolate Di ba? Kailangan maging mag-isa. Isolate. Itabi muna. We can do this by applying addition and subtraction property of equality. O tayo ay magsusubtract ng 3 on both sides of the equation bilang 3 ang variable na kasama ng unknown. At ngayon, x plus 3 minus 3 is equal to 18 minus 3. Diba? Tatandaan nyo? Yung kanina, a, b, a minus c, b minus c. Diba? Tatandaan nyo na kung ano yung sinubtract natin sa left side ng equation, ganun din yung gagawin natin doon sa kabila. Let's simplify. 3 minus 3 is 0. 18 minus 3 is 15. That means that ang value ng ating x is equal to 15. Oh, check nga natin. I-substitute na natin yung value ng x doon sa 15. At ipa-plug natin yan sa original equation natin. 15 plus 3 is equal to 18. Math dali lang, di ba? 18 is equal to 18. Tama nga. Pareho yung value ng both sides ng equation. Napakahusay. Okay. Eh, paano naman kung gawin natin mas mahirap pa? Paano kung ganito? Gawin natin uh, medyo challenging. Bumili ako ng 65 pesos worth of isaw. Dami nun. At kung may sukuli ako na 15 pesos, magkano ang binayad ko? Let's solve for the unknown. Hmm. Buuin muna natin yung equation. Let's assign x for the unknown o yung amount na binayad natin. Tandaan, pwedeng kahit anong letters to from A to Z. Bahala kayo. Pero ang standard natin when it comes to math is x. At kung magdadagdag pa tayo ng isang factor, y and another one, z, and so on and so forth. Pero pwedeng kahit ano yan. Okay, dahil uh, nagbawas ako dito ng 65 pesos pambayad ng isaw or pambayad sa isaw, pwede natin itong gawing uh, x minus 65. Kasi nung total amount mo, 65 yung binayad mo. Sa kabilang side na equation, ilalagay natin yung natira, which is 15. Pagkatapos, di ba? Pagkatapos, ibawas doon sa total na amount mo, yung 65 pesos. And this gives us the equation na x minus 65 equals 15. Now, let's solve for x. Okay, Robby. Magbabawas pa tayo? Or magbabawas pa ba tayo ng 65? E bawas na nga. Minus, negative. So, ano kailangan natin gawin? Huh? Do we minus it? Do we subtract? another 65 doon sa kabilang equation para makuha yung value ng x? No. Kung minus, kailangan positive. Okay? We will be adding 65 to both sides para i-isolate natin yung x. Gusto niya, matira matibay siya. So that gives us x minus 65 plus 65 equals 15 plus 65. Pareho. And now we simplify. X minus 65 plus 65 will give us X plus 0. Or simply, si X. Then, 15 plus 65 would give us, what is it? 80. Would be yok. Pibibitins. 80. X is equal to 80. 80 pesos yung binayad ko. Kaya may sukli pa akong 15 pesos sa 65 pesos worth of isaw. pag natin, tamang-tama yan. But since this is a word problem, anong gusto natin? Anong sabi ni Kuya Robbie? Since the beginning of time, we have to put the label. It's 80 pesos. Mahusay ang ating mga classmates dito. Let's try it out with another challenge because it's time for Math the league quiz time. Let's start with a fairly easy question. True or false? Analyze nyo yung sinabi natin kanina, no? 
An equation is this mathematical sentence made up of two articulations that are equal. An equation is this mathematical sentence made up of two artic articulations that are equal. What is this? Mm -hmm. And that is it. Kung sumagot kayo ng sa true kuya Robby, very good. Because you guys are correct. Okay? An equation is really a mathematical sentence made up of two articulations that are equal. Tinatawag natin dun sa x plus 15 is one articulation and then another one is 20. Okay? Articulations, pag may equal sign, that is what we call an equation. Ano nga ba yung keyword natin when we talk about equations? Yup, equal. Lagi tong may equal sign dahil magkapareho yung value ng both sides nito. Sino nga ba ang nakuha ng tamang sagot? Marami. Galing. Talagang kabisado na yung konsepto ng equations. Okay. E na naman natin kung ano mangyayari dito sa question na ito. Let's solve for the unknown. X plus 7 equals 21. You have 20 seconds to comment down your answer. 20 seconds ago. Ayan na. X plus 7 equals 21. Ano nga ba yung kailangan natin gawin, Kuya Robs? Oh, may X tayo. Kailangan natin isolate And how do we do that one? May 7 tayo. Plus 7. So what do we need to do? Time is up. Ituloy natin yung sinasabi natin. We need to isolate x. May plus 7 tayo. So we need to subtract 7. Minus 7. Gagawin natin yan. One side. And then, another side. x plus 7 minus 7 is equal to 21 minus 7. At ano makuha natin sagot? x is equal to 14. Pareho ba tayo na nakuha ang sagot? Oh, check natin kung tama tayo. Let's get the value of x, which is 14. Plug it doon sa equation. 14 plus 7 equals 21. 21 is equal to 21. Okay, we shall continue with question number 3. Let's do this. Let's solve for the unknown. Ano nga ba ang magiging sagot natin dito? Hala! Hindi na siya X, Y na siya. Ba't ganun nga mga X? Mapapatanong ka ng Y. Anyway, let's solve the unknown. 20 seconds on the clock. Comment down your answers. Go! Hmm. Y minus 4 equals 16. Why? Ano nga ba dito? What's the first step when it comes to solving this mathematical sentence? We need to isolate the letter. Tandaan nyo ah, yung x pwedeng maging y, pwedeng maging z. Pero sana, lahat ng mga x maging happy. Okay, let's do this. Um, hmm. <laughs> How do we do uh, this mathematical sentence? Let's isolate. Let's isolate y first. Since minus 4, anong kailangan natin gawin? We need to isolate that y by adding to both sides. Y minus 4 plus 4 equals 16 plus 4. And Y will be giving us 20. At kapag chinek natin ulit yan, let's get the value of uh, Y na 20. Plug it in. 20 minus 4 is equal to 16. Tama ang ating equation. And now we have our last question of the day. Oh, ito na. Marie sold a total of 42 sticks of banana peel today. I think that's what I want. With cafe, the best. If she was able to sell 25 sticks in the morning, how many banana peel sticks was she able to sell in the afternoon? Oh. Analyze yung muna yung problem. Ang galing naman ng graphics natin. The best, especially the design. 
Gaka Gutums. 20 seconds on the clock. Let's solve this, baby. In 3, 2, 1, go. Ano ba nahanap ang bilang ng banana queue na naibenta ni Marie sa hapon? At ito yung X natin, no? Okay? Pwede natin gawin yun. Marie sold a total of 42 sticks of banana queue today. If she was able to sell seven, uh, 25 sticks in the morning, ilan yung sa hapon? Sige nga. Kuhin nga natin to. O, tulad ng sinasabi natin dito, ano ba yung nahanap? Ang bilang ng banana queue na naibenta ni Marie sa hapon. At ito, yung magiging X natin or unknown. Kung nakabenta siya ng 25 sticks sa umaga at ang total number ng naibenta niya ay 42, we can say na X plus 25 is equal to 42. And now let's solve. Ito na yung equation natin. Para ma-isolate ng X, kailangan natin mag-subtract ng 25 sa parehong sides. No? Yung articulations natin. X plus 25 minus 25 is equal to 42 minus 25. Okay? At yan, ang equation natin. When we solve this one, 40, uh, 25 minus 25 is 0. 42 minus 25 is 17. So that means... X is equal to 17. Two more steps. Okay? Hanapin natin ulit. Uh, balikan natin. I-review natin. I-plug natin yung value ng 17 doon sa original equation natin. 17 plus 25. Is that 42? Yes, it is. Last step is, what do we do? Add the label. 17 sticks of banana Q. Yun na naibenta niya. Pero since naka-perfect score ka, ikaw ang BBQ. Ah. Dahil ang gagaling ng ating mga junior detectives sa pagsasolve at kapag may nawawala, siguradong mahanap yan. At maraming maraming salamat sa pag-join us. Sa pag-join us dito sa addition and subtraction property of equality. At tatandaan nyo, Dahil magagamit natin to sa mga susunod na lessons natin. Pero kung medyo nalilito pa kayo, okay lang yan. That's part of the journey. Dahil maayos din natin yung pagsosolve ng unknown with regular practice. Kasi nga, di ba? Isip plus siga equals math dali. Ako si Kuya Ravi and I'll see you guys very soon.